Welcome back to our Key Insights um, and the continuation of our Irimi series. Um, so instead of the, the kicks we were doing, I, I want to focus now on um, katamochi or grab and, and the role that Irimi plays in this. So for example, a lot of people, when, when the grab is done, uh, they just do the technique automatically without thinking, yes, and we do a nikido and we continue on. Well, in this case, we're going to do a nikido first. But irimi is the key principle that, that really controls uke um, when it comes to this nikido. So first, obviously a temi, we've talked about it, the, the importance of a temi. But at this point, if I just try and apply nikido here, his arm is very straight. And if he's strong, I can't do anything, okay? With strength, I can't. I'm trying with all my might, but I can't. Okay? So once I get to here, I need to enter as I do the next step here. Look at the change in Uke. He's at a much more vulnerable and weaker position now. Even if he's strong, he can't, he can't resist it. <laughs> so the Irimi is really integral here. Watch him. Again. So before he strikes me, strike him. Then I turn, instead of just turning 45, I turn 45 and enter. Now I'm close to him, I've got lots of options here. But Nikajo is very accessible. Just lock. Then near anything after this, you straight back and down. Lock. Okay? We do traditionally, after this, hey. one, enter, lock, you break, and turn. Into uh, Nikajo. But anything can happen. So he comes, he grabs, straight away in. Enter, then lock, then straight in. Then here, lock the arm to an armbar. Here, even knee on the back, break off, come down. You can do anything from here. Okay? But we traditionally like to do this come around into what some would call a kimura hold, others would call a samkajo hold, or a nikajo pin or say. Samkajo here, nikajo here, doesn't really matter. The control is taken care of once you've entered in and locked. So from this angle, watching you um, one more time from a different angle. One. Now, look at where my foot is, it's beside his. I'm not just going to move my back foot 45, I'm going to enter in as if I'm going to headbutt him. Whack! Okay? I'm entering in now. Almost enough so I can put this lock on with uh, the concentrated power here. Okay? Then just lock it. So Nikaja wasn't needed then. In. Then break off. So that's with Nikajo. Same principle with Ikajo. Hatamachi grab. One. Enter up. Cut down. Break off. Now from here he tries to stand up. Keep control of the elbow. He tries to get away. Anyway, whatsoever. Just control. Then when, when you've got the control, then you move into the next stage of control. Whether it be here or over the top, doesn't matter. One more time from the, uh, this angle for Ikajo. Comes in to come and grab him. And what he wants to do is grab and punch. That's what we simulate, right? So his intent has to be that when he comes in, we do it very robotically. We come in, he grabs one. Two, three, four, five, then six connection, seven connection, then also. But his intent has to be one of just walking in, grabbing me and smashing me. Okay? So from here, if he comes to do that, we come in first. Now I'm beside him. Of sidestep because it's a knee technique. I need to now enter to control and, and take his balance. So enter. Then from here, Yokomin strike. Yokomin. 
can't be. Now, I don't need to do anything here. I just place all my, my center power into this point here. So when he tries to stand up, I just control the elbow. He can go any way he wants. Doesn't matter. I'll just follow him and keep this control. Then I can move into the whatever's next. And also. From this angle. One. Now watch, I'm here. I'm, if I don't enter and I just do this, Uke is very comfortable. If I do enter, changes Uke's position and form, breaks his balance, changes his shape. Then cut this elbow in a centrifugal force. Straight down. Then control the elbow in an armbar position. Let him try and come into the armbar as he tries to get up. Here. Tries to attack me if I just roll him towards me. Good. Then I can just break off. Come into Nikkajo. Okay. Doesn't matter. From that position, doesn't matter what Uke does. I'm in a very dominant controlling position. Ikkajo, Nikkajo. They work synonymously, synergetically. You just have to have the mindset to transition between the two. But Yimi is the key to get there first. So I'll recap. First one, the Irimi happens now to break, to break this. If he's strong and I don't Irimi, I can't do anything because I'm using my arm. I have to use my body. My body against his, his arm strength, I'll beat it every time. And then I can do the Nikkajo like I've showed you before. Second, Ikkajo, one, same thing. If I just use my arm strength, nothing. I have to use my body and enter. Now from here, it's a very easy position to, to control him from. His balance is broken. So without Irimi, I'll never get to any, any lock, any control, any ending on, uh, that's suitable for me. So Irimi, Irimi, Irimi. Okay. So, so I hope you got something out of that. Um, ikajo, Nikajo, Irimi, and the uh, synerg uh, synergy between the two.